When Holiton released his breakout song Bo Zhang, he immediately became famous not only because of his amazing musical talent but also because of his unique vocals which are one of a kind and he completely took Zimbabwe by storm. Hi and welcome to our channel. Today we are going to look at the hip hop sensation Politan who also identifies as the leader of the youth. Politan is a Zimbabwean rapper, songwriter and musical producer who has been in the musical industry since 2016 but he only rose to fame around 2020. Commenting on his music during an interview he said, I quote, there might be a difference for every tempo, rhythm, harmony or tune for every beat and every drum but the message I desire to bring out through all of my music is the message of love. Close quote, and I must say he has been very consistent on the theme of love in all of his music. His real name is Mukuzei Chitsama and he was born on the 18th of November in 1998 which means he is 24 years as of 2022. Waliten is the middle child in a family of three and he grew up living in Harare. Besides this, very little is known about his background but we do know that for his high school education, he attended Species College where he discovered his musical talent in Form 3. Holly's musical career began with a desire to be great. Apparently when Holly's musical career began when he was in Form 3, he couldn't make beats but he lied about his beat making ability. Fortunately, this gave him a kickstart in the musical journey that saw him shifting from singing for a small group of people to acquiring national and international popularity. And now he has two albums to his name, namely Risky Life and Suicide Notes and he also has an EP titled Juta People. On to his personal life, Wollyton is not married and he doesn't have any children or rather none that we know of yet but here's a little bit of his relationship history. It was once rumored that Holiton had a crush on Tami Moyo and that he was afraid to approach her with a love request after Holiton made a song about Tami Moyo. Well, it turns out that it was only a song as Holiton never acted on any of these allegations. Shortly after the Tami Moyo saga, Holiton found himself a girlfriend by the name of Yaya Good Vibes who is a TV presenter on ZBC. She openly declared her love for him during an Instagram live and their relationship was born. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, their relationship ended within just 10 days of the commencement date. Currently, he is in a relationship with Lorraine Guyo and I must say they are such a cute couple, Vaka Fitana, very beautiful indeed. On to his net worth. His current estimated net value is calculated to be around 50,000 US dollars and as for the car that he drives, he drives a Mercedes-Benz E320. Moving along, we present to you controversies surrounding Holy Ten. Number one, it seems like in his line of music, beef is the name of the game. As in 2018, he had a beef going on with Kiki Bares when he released a diss track about her titled Back to Back. Two years later, in 2020, Holy Ten publicly apologized to Kiki about the diss track and they made peace and even went on to make a song together titled Dreams Zeroto. Once again on the topic of beef, in 2021, Holiton had beef with Enzo Aisha when out of the blue Enzo Aisha just declared himself the king of Zimbabwean hip hop. This did not sit well with Holiton and there was friction between the two which led to an exchange of diss tracks. If their war had remained on the musical field alone, it would have been better but well they went as far as Enzo Aisha breaking Holiton's car. Still on the topic of beef, in late 2021 and early 2022, Holiton had beef with another rapper called Folds JT. Apparently, Holiton and Folds go a long way back, like they were in the same high school and they were even friends until the music game got the better of them. The beef started with an exchange of words on social media, which later on turned into districts, but apparently, as of early March 2022, they have made peace once again. To finish off the video, here's some interesting facts about Holy Ten. Number one, Holy Ten studied international law in Europe. He did his studies in North Cyprus. But two, Holy Ten is a magnet when it comes to awards. He started off by winning Vocalist of the Year at the 2018 ASGA Awards in North Cyprus. Ever since then, he has been dominating Zim Hip Hop Awards and Changamere Awards since 2020 with a record breaking. Scope Awards nominations at the 2021 Changamere Awards and another record-breaking 
13 awards nomination at the 2022 Changamere Awards. That we come to the end of our video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. See you in the next video. Until then, bye.